well good afternoon and welcome back to the channel um, for a midweek update I'm down here it is Wednesday afternoon and I've been doing a little tidying up of the greenhouse um, and I also spoke too soon on a certain matter but I'll show you that a little bit later but what I'm going to do is just show you around the greenhouse um, and how the peppers are coming on so as I mentioned in my last video I continued and stripped back all these leaves to expose as much light into the greenhouse as possible um, to help these peppers ripen up and there certainly is a lot more light in here now um, so I'm hoping I'll be taking these home and having them on stir fries, barbecues, things like that. And guess what's appeared? We have an aubergine and we have baby aubergines coming up all over. So I'm really, really pleased about that because I really did think we'd run out of season. So yeah, so I'm really pleased with this. Now it's looking tidier. This time of year, I like to try and get things as tidy as possible. So as when it comes to the final sort of clean down of the greenhouse, um, it ain't such a big task. As you can see, the cucumbers are coming on well. Um, I've got four in here. Over there, there's two. There's the Musa Bass Jew. And I've got one left, which is this one. And there are just one or two more cucumbers in there. So I'm just going to give them another couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days, should I say. And then I'm going to harvest those and I'm going to try and get this one into the ground. That's all the green foliage that's come off the peppers. I have been taking these tomatoes for weeks and weeks now and I've still got loads and loads to go at. Um, these ones, I think they're called golden sunrise, I'm not sure, somebody will correct me I'm sure in the comments if I'm wrong. Only a baby tomato but absolutely juicy as anything. So yeah. Still making that um, sauce um, and tomato paste for my curries. So overall, I'm quite pleased how this greenhouse has done this year. Really am. Here's the squash that we replanted. Um, well, we planted it, brought it back in the greenhouse, brought it on, and it has really stood up. But again, I think I'm in that same situation where we are going to run out of season. But we've got one or two squash in there. I'll bring you closer to have a look. Oh, here we go. Let's have a quick look through. There, as you can see, there are a number of decent sized ones. And then at the top, there are these small ones, which I'm thinking, will they make anything? I won't they? So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip off all those ones with the flowers and try and concentrate and get those bigger ones to a decent size and ripened. I've got one or two butternuts, but they're only small excuse my plaster which is falling off I cut myself on a piece of glass the glass that i'm using for the sun shelter yeah so there are one or two butternut squash and then there's this beastie boy which is a decent size 
And I've not looked in this one. Ow! Got that prickly. Not looked in this one. Yeah, again. All quite small ones. Well, I'll give them a little chance. See how we go. We're supposed to be getting some decent weather this weekend, so leave it till then. I finally got the piece of glass uh, off um, a future son in law and I brought it down in the van. And instead of waiting until I got all the way around and climbed out of the van and gone round to the other side and picked the glass up and bring it round like a like a health and safety conscious person that I am. No, I decided to stretch across um, to the passenger side and lift it up and under and around the steering wheel, at which point I trapped my thumb um, against my thigh. And to get it out, I had to literally just bend it down and it just went straight in and took a slither of my skin off. Uh, very stupid. I won't be doing that again. Right, as I said, as I said, I spoke too soon. Those blasted rats have come and decided, I'll just walk through and turn around, and they've dug their way in underneath and left all the nice little bits of poison I left for them and devoured what was left of the sweet corn. So I think there are one or two in there that I might be able to quickly get out before I go. I think there's one there. But certainly the aggregate score this year, this season, is the rats 62. The veg plot man 10 but I will get my revenge next season how many of us end up with a glut of marrows I normally get somebody giving me a, a text or a message on Facebook um, because she makes a lot of various chutneys um, and I've not got that call this year so all these are what I've put to one side. So I'm gonna to have to work out what I'm gonna do with those. Right, while I'm here, I'll just show you the sunflower at the back of my shed there. Now my shed, I would say, is about eight foot high. So I'd say that's about 10 foot. Um, it's put on a really good display this year. Really good display. Just taking you down to the bottom of the plot. As you can see, I still haven't stacked that lump of cherry wood there into the wood shelter yet. I've got to get on with it. Now I did say I wasn't going to get any more timber, but Look what I've gone and done. Look what I've gone and done. I can feel my back aching looking at that now. <laughs> but I couldn't resist. He, was, he rung me up. He says, there's not too much, Mal. Do you want it? Have you got room? And I think at the top there, I think I could squeeze it in. There's probably, what, two foot at the back going down on both of the shelters. So... I couldn't turn my nose up at it. I'm a glutton for punishment, you might say. Just on the way back up to the greenhouse and I couldn't pass these apples and not actually show you them. They look really nice and red. There's a little bit of scab there, um, but hopefully if they ripen, I'll just cut that bit out and we'll have some juicy apples. And there are more over there. And more over there. Right, 
let's get back to the greenhouse. So there we go, I just thought I'd do a, a quick midweek update for a change. Um, I did find when I was doing two videos a week, I was getting more views. So it might be something that I start to do, you know, every now and then, maybe every other week, I'll um, introduce a, a midweek update. Um, so I would just like to say thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to all those loyal subscribers that leave comments week in, week out, um, and interesting tips. Um, I really do appreciate those. Um, I'd like to thank the few new subscribers that I got um, this week. I hope you'll stay with us all and continue to follow my journey. And I will see you now over the weekend where we're supposed to be getting some decent weather. Fingers crossed. So until then, guys, take care and happy growing.